You're mad. Not at you, but going to see Joe Jr. alone? He's a killer, a rapist. He's also behind bars, Sonny. He can't hurt me. So seeing that piece of garbage didn't hurt you? You were not supposed to lay your eyes on him. Because you wanted to take care of it. And by take care of, I mean kill. Right? Sonny, it's better that you didn't. Is it? Wishing it was my blood. Joe Jr. deserves to die. He's not even mad enough to admit. Joe Jr. is many things. A man is not one of them. You fed you the same lies you fed me? That you asked him to come over, that you came on to him? What did he say? When I confronted him about the rape, he told me that's not how he remembered it had happened. And it was hateful. I'm not surprised, though, because when has Joe Jr. ever taken responsibility for anything in his life? He was more interested in discussing my baby, using my son as a weapon against me. Using her. Daddy, son, he set you up for some... What did Joe say about the baby? He knows that I abandoned him. Uh, uh, ne never mind that you were pregnant because he raped you. I ran away from my child. He loved throwing that in my face, reminding me over and over okay, again. Okay, listen, listen, Kate. You have to remember, you gotta remember the truth, okay? You were in an impossible situation. You were afraid, you were alone. You were pregnant by somebody who raped you, and you panicked. No one, no one's gonna blame you for that. Can you just let me, let me know that you're okay that I went there? That you understand I had to do it I alone? Mean, you seem strong and good, right? Okay? It's over. Sonny, is it over for you too? Well, you know what? Uh, things like this are not easy for me to let go. It's gonna be harder for Joe. Sonny, he's in prison for murder. Well, he should be in there for more than that and answering for everything he put you through. Like how I answered for what I put Star through? Okay, you cannot do that, Kate. You cannot compare yourself to Joe. He's an animal. It, it, why do you always go there? Because I'm saying that people commit crimes all the time and they don't always have to answer for them. I didn't answer for my crime. Connie's the one who pulled the trigger. You didn't do that. Whoa. Hey. <gasps> Where'd you go there? Huh? I just remembered something. About Joe? No. About oh, Johnny Sakura. This this memory of Johnny, is it is it you is it yours I, or Connie's? I don't know. I it must be Connie's because I, I can't place it. It's just a jumble of images. I can't hold anything. What, okay, this happened at, at the courthouse, remember? At the at the arraignment? You said you had a memory, and then you kind of left, and then you couldn't get it back, right? This is different, Sonny. It's more clear. I can see the room. What room? The police station interrogation room. What would Johnny be doing in, in the interrogation room? Do you think this actually happened? Yes, I'm positive it happened. I was, I was being held for assaulting Dr. Keenan. Johnny came to see me. Do you know why? Yes, I do. I looked up, and I saw him. How would Johnny get into a room like that? You just can't waltz into an interrogation. Well, like you've never done that? Well, yeah, but I'm a different story. Well, he had friends help him. I don't know. Why would he want to see you? He, he told me he saw you at Kelly's. And right. he was pleading my case to you, telling you that it was Connie that had been with him, not me. Well, that's Johnny, hard to go, just, you know, not getting what's in it for him. I, I don't know. Maybe he thought if he brought us back together, he might have a second chance with Carly. Then what happened? I don't know. Did Connie... What did they talk about? Did Connie take over? Oh, she must have. I don't... I can't see it, Sonny. It's there. It's like I can almost touch it. I, I just can't bring it into focus. Well, let's ask the person who can. What brings you two here? Club's not open yet. I can't think of any other reason you'd want to see me. You sure about that? Look, Sonny, I'm all about mutual coexistence. 
The reality is you and I are never gonna like each other, so I think the further apart we stay from each other, the better. I have questions, Johnny. And if you are the changed man that you claim you are, you will answer them honestly, so this can all be over. Sorry. When I was being held for attacking Dr. Keenan, you came to see me in the interrogation room. Is that right? That's right, I remember that vaguely. It was after I saw Sonny at Kelly's and I tried to explain to you how I tried to smooth things over. And then what happened? What do you mean? Johnny, I'm begging you, please. Be straight with me right now. Did Connie come out at the station? It's hard to tell sometimes. She's not an answer, Johnny. She did, didn't she? Johnny, is that why I can't remember the rest of the conversation? Yeah, all right, Connie made an appearance. Which she never does without an agenda. So tell me now, what did she want from you? You know, Connie, not as well as you do, Johnny. When Connie sought you out, you probably talked to her about who knows what, made deals or whatever you did, I don't know. Sonny, but... Connie's main goal was to get Kate away from you. Okay. And I got to admit, at the time, I sympathized. Because let's be honest, you're a dangerous guy to be around. Right? You're, you're seriously not going to defend what you did. I'm not. Not at all. I was wrong, and I admitted to that, which meant Connie was done with me. She had no reason to confide no, in me. No, but she must have told you something that day. Come on, Mr. Nice Guy, to tell you. Fine. But you're not going to like it. Hey, you're right about the agenda thing. When Connie would feel threatened, that's when she would come to me. And she would act out. So I guess when I told her that I defended you to Sonny, she was worried that Sonny was going to forgive you. All right, that makes sense, but it doesn't explain why I can't remember the rest of the conversation, Johnny. It's as, as if Connie is hiding something from me. She doesn't want me to know. Are you sure that any of this even matters? I mean, haven't the charges been dropped against Because you? I cannot become fully well until I remember everything. Enough with the run around. What happened, Johnny? Fine. Connie grabbed me and kissed me. <sighs> I pushed you away. I can see it now. I never told you because I didn't want to make any trouble. I'm done with that. For you and, and for myself. That's it? That's it. They do have a lot of work to do before the opening tomorrow. Which you're both invited to, by the way. Yeah. We'll, we'll pass we'll on pass. that. Yeah. So we're cool? Yeah, we'll see. Buy that? I guess I have to. Let's get out of here.